Alrighty, I just arrived to Matheson Hammock Marina here in Miami and I'm meeting up with the guys at Tarpon Bay Boat Works to check out a 19 footer they have which is kind of a hybrid between a flats boat and a bay boat. I know we're used to seeing the classic center console hybrid um, but this is a little something different. It's a husky flats boat made to take chop like a much bigger bay boat and we're very much looking forward to seeing it. I think you guys will as well. So we're gonna jump on it, see the ins and outs, take a sea trial, see how it performs and we're gonna take you along for the ride. So hope you guys enjoy. Here we are, these guys came all the way from Tampa to show us this boat and we're very glad they did. You see this is kind of a hybrid between a flats boat and a bay boat, it's a husky flats boat. Kind of a Euro style, more blunt bow, really wide beam, tons of storage, triple 30 gallon wells here down the center and a completely removable bilge hatch. We got a jack plate. Mercury XS 150 power pole. All these wells are plumbed and insulated. You can use them as a cooler, basically whatever you want. Removable cooler down here. Take a look at the console. We're gonna jump inside in a second, but tons of great storage here. C deck material and a Minn Kota trolling motor here at the bow. We're gonna jump on it and see how it works, how it performs in the water, and we'll show you all the details as it goes. First thing you're gonna notice is the beam of this boat and how husky it is, how those, the gunnel height it has, it's got a 7.7 seven beam. Three of us here, plenty of room. Check that out. Very comfortable. We're gonna run, we got plenty of wind, so we're gonna be able to see what this thing does in the bay, so very excited about that. So, let's go. So real quick, performance numbers with the Mercury 150 XS there behind us. They're seeing about five miles per gallon at a 35 mile an hour cruise. Jumped to 45 and they're seeing about three and a half. And a top speed you were saying 50, 52. You're still seeing above three miles per gallon. This is a real load, two guys on board, loaded to fish. So those are realistic performance numbers. within the bow hatches. They've been fishing this boat to death since it was built, just testing everything, making sure it's perfect. So it just got out of battle. But just wanted to show you the space that it had there. A lot of storage here as well. Show you that hatch. And then you just have a massive casting platform with a Minn Kota trolling motor there at the bow. This boat right here um, holds 39 gallons of fuel. You have a max capacity of 55, and it has a 150 Pro Excess back there by Mercury. You can max it out at 225, so if you wanted to go bigger, um, you can go 55 gallons with a 225 and build uh, quite the monster here. We're taking a look at the console. You can see it's very clean. They have a 12-inch Garmin with digital switching. They can put a switch panel if you like. It's up to you, personal preference. They have a phone charger mounted right there you have your controls for your trolling motor your jack plate underneath you got your trim tabs there right next to the throttle and gem lux hardware and steering wheel 
everything very nicely done simple and clean just how we like it quick look at the rigging they're not 100 percent done but you can see it looks nice and neat and you got great access here the backrest of the console so we've got three compartments on the back of the boat all three are 30 gallons all three come blue to be used as live wells right now we have a center well set up on this boat with recirc and fill all of them are gasketed all of them are insulated on the outside you lose about 20 25 percent of your ice in an eight hour period on a sunny day so you can use it as a fish box we've been using it as a fish box all week they will be strutted and they will have even sea deck underneath them to even make them quieter but as this boat sits we also have a saltwater rinse on this side with research so it can be used as a release well or used to clean the entire boat you can completely remove the bilge hatch so you're not knocking it you're not getting it in the way you can do your maintenance very easily great little access spot jack plates are coming standard on all the boats we have a four inch on this boat uh, obviously we're going to be going to a six inch on production boats just so we don't have the notch on the transom but they're going to be on every boat from the factory Great day for a sea trial, 15 knot winds blowing pretty steadily, uh, wish wash here in the bay and this 19 footer ate it up, uh, really didn't get wet at all. At a certain angle, just like any boat, a little bit of wisp of wind is going to throw some spark at you, but um, this thing really handled like a, a larger boat. So that's where the whole thing comes in. Um, calling it a hybrid between a flats boat and a bay boat, it can kind of really handle that big bay boat chop, but it has that flats boat platform. They have a polling platform coming up that's going to be standard on there as well. So a lot of cool things happening with this company, brand new brand. So definitely check them out at tarpinboatworks.com and much more coming here at Center Consoles Only. So thanks guys for watching our vlog. If you wanna see our latest video, please click right here. And if you like what you see and you want to see more Center Consoles only content, please subscribe right here. Thanks guys.